Welcome, my name is Mike. Today, I'll be your guide. We're gonna show you how we keep your water safe and clean to drink. Are you ready to take a trip behind the water faucet? Yeah! Well, come on, let's board the tram. Can someone tell me where our water comes from? From the store? No, that's bottled water. From the rain? Good guess, you're getting closer. You're right, Thurston, a river. You see, here at Florence, we take Missouri River water, called raw water, and turn it into safe drinking water. Our intake station pulls water directly from the river. Can you believe over 250,000 gallons of water flow by our intake plant every single second? Large screens on the intake help keep out debris and fish that could damage the large water pumps. These huge pumps deliver the river water to the south end of the plant, where for the next two days, gravity will keep the water moving downhill. We'll start our adventure at the three large pre-sedimentation or pre-sed basins. Here's where we start our four-step process to make the water safe to drink. Now, each of the pre-sed basins holds seven million gallons of water and are 30 foot deep. That's like stacking three swimming pools on top of each other. Whoa. The first basic step is called sedimentation. Now, the water enters at the center of each of these preset basins. Here, the heavier sand and mud settle to the bottom, and large scrapers return the sand and mud back into the river. The cleaner water, well, it's skimmed off the top, where it leaves the preset basin and flows through a pipe back to the mixing basin. The second basic step is called clarification and softening. This is where we add alum a chemical that acts like a magnet in the water, and it causes the fine particles to cling together and then sink to the bottom of the basin. We also add pebble lime to the water to remove some of the natural minerals and to soften the water. Thurston wants to know what is hard water. Hardness in drinking water is caused by two minerals, calcium and magnesium. If there's too much in the water, it's called hard water. And the water is hard because making lather or suds for washing is hard to do. But if there's just a little calcium and magnesium in the water, then it's called soft water. After sedimentation, clarification, and softening, the water's getting cleaner, but it's still not safe to drink. Next, we'll explore the third basic step, and that's called disinfection. Here we add chlorine and ammonia to the water to kill all the tiny organisms you can't see, like bacteria, viruses, and parasites. That could make you sick. Before we're ready to send the water out to your homes, there's still one more step, and that's called filtration. Now, here at the filter building, the water flows through 30 inches of anthracite and sand, and that acts like a screen to help block tiny particles. To keep the filter beds clean, we backwash them every five days. He didn't say backstroke, he said backwash! <laughs> <laughs> well, let me explain, Thurston. During the backwashing process, we release millions of gallons of pre-treated water from a large tank, and we reverse the flow of water through the filters. This washes away any accumulated particles in the filter beds. After the water leaves the filter plant, we add a small amount of fluoride. Can you guess why? You're right, Thurston. You see, in 1968, the people of Omaha voted that we should add a small amount of fluoride to our water supply to help prevent tooth decay. Now, before the water leaves the plant, our team of chemists and technicians conduct more than 500 tests a day to make sure that all the water meets all state and federal guidelines for drinking water. Now the water is ready to be delivered through more than 2,800 miles of underground pipes to homes and businesses in the metro area. The pipes also carry water to 28,000 hydrants 
to help fight fires in our community. Together, the district's three water plants pump 90 million gallons of water on an average day to make sure we supply enough water to you, our customer. When you turn on your faucet, you can count on clean, safe tap water anytime you want it. Thank you kids for joining me on our water adventure today. Now, can someone tell me the four basic steps that we covered today? What's the first step? Sedimentation? That's right. Sedimentation is when the heavier sand and mud are settled out of the water. Now, can someone tell me the second step? Clarification and softening? Correct. That's when we add alum and lime to clear and soften the water. Now, can someone tell me the third step? Disinfection. Right! This important step is when we use chlorine and ammonia to kill the germs and bacteria that may be in the water. Now who can tell me the fourth step? Very good, Thurston. Filtration is the fourth step. We use anthracite and sand like a screen to block small particles in the water. And we add a tiny bit of fluoride to help prevent tooth decay. Thank you for joining me on this adventure today and being good listeners. Well. I hope you had fun learning how the district supplies you with clean, refreshing water. Remember, you can help protect the water supply by using water wisely. Bye! Bye!